absolutely love my balcony in the afternoon, but it is very plain. So let's get to work. <laughs> I'm so excited to bring a new episode of Tyra's Tinkers. If you have been following this segment, it is when I do random DIY projects around my apartment. But as you can see, we are in a new space. And by the title of this video, you already know what we are about to get into. We are decorating my balcony. I was so excited to move into this apartment because my balcony is about 110 square feet. <gasps> That is literally half the size of my old apartment. So I was so excited about it and I wanted to make sure that that was the first DIY project I did. So I recorded it all for you guys. Now, let's get into the makeover. So I really love my outdoor space. It's kind of secluded. I am right up against another building, which is the neighboring building. And I love that I don't have direct sun all day because y'all, we out here in LA. That direct sun is a doozy, okay? So what I really wanted in a balcony was a space that I could consider a sanctuary. I really wanted to fill it with plants and I also wanted it to be a vibe, especially at night. So you know, if I wanted to invite a couple of people over, we could have drinks on the balcony, we have the whole ambiance thing going on. So those were my top wants for this space. And if you guys are thinking about decorating your own balcony, I just looked on Pinterest, but what I really did was step into my space and I just envisioned what Tyra would want. And I said, I have to have turf, I have to have some cute deck tiles, I have to have a cute at least two seater or some sort of sofa love seat situation going on, additional seating, and a place to put all of my plants. So that's what I took into consideration when I was building out my balcony and y'all, your girl did build. I built a few things. Now I do have a couple of TikToks and a couple of Instagram videos showing the pieces that I built. I'm not gonna include them all in this video, but they will all be linked down below so you can see exactly how I built everything. But I'll show you a sneak peek of most things. So the first thing I did was clean off my balcony. Now I have concrete so it stains easily so I made sure that I mopped it, kind of scrubbed it up and made sure that there was no dirt and debris that would be underneath my turf and my deck tiles. I got my turf from Lowe's and y'all, it was actually pretty cheap, okay? You have to know how to do it. So my balcony is like 10 feet long. So I got a 12 foot long rug turf and then I got like four to five feet of turf because my balcony is half turf, half deck tiles. And I got all of my deck tiles from Ikea. Now if you live somewhere like LA, make sure you are checking Facebook Market. I actually found some deck tiles on Facebook Market. I wonder if they're still on there right now. The person didn't want to sell me a portion of the deck tiles. They had like an outrageous amount of deck tiles and I only wanted a few. I ended up buying my own and it was about $125. I needed exactly five sets of the deck tiles. They come nine to a case and I needed exactly 45 deck tiles. Now let's get into this beautiful two seater that I have on my deck. Y'all, I had my eye on this two seater for so long, but I could not bring myself to spend that much money on a piece of furniture from Target for my balcony when I had an entire apartment to furnish. So I was like, you know what? We just gonna charge it to the game. We gonna find something cheaper. Luckily, when I was actually buying my deck tiles, I had a friend who was in Target and she saw it on clearance. So you guys, I do have the floor model. So it has a couple of stains and a couple of tears in the, the cushion itself, but your girl is Harriet Homemaker. So I will get those stains out and I'll also sew up the holes and it'll be all brand new. So I got that from Target and then I found two very cute pillows from a little mom and pop like Goodwill thrift store here in Burbank, California. So the first project that I worked on on my balcony was my plant stand. I actually saw a video on YouTube and I'll make sure that I'll link it down below showing this exact plant stand and I just did my own little twist on it. I mean, it was kind of the same, but I built this plant stand and 
I will say, since I built this plant stand, the top where you hang hanging plants is not the sturdiest. So if you're thinking about hanging like strawberries or, you know, heavy pots, just keep that in mind that it's not the sturdiest, but it will hold some smaller hanging plants. And I absolutely love it, you guys. I love the stain color that I chose. And I just love going out onto my balcony because the deck tiles, the color of my wood, it just goes so perfectly together and it makes it into a sanctuary. Now, once I finished with my plant stand, I worked on my balcony bar, which is the star of the show. Now, this was very easy to make and you guys can make this with just a drill and a hammer and some love and some knowledge on how to build stuff a little bit. I actually got my plans for this balcony bar off of Pinterest and I will also link that up. As well it's five feet like I said my balcony is ten feet so my balcony bar is only five feet and I put it in the middle of my balcony the best thing about this balcony bar is that I can take it off if I wanted to if I wanted to I don't know have space without my balcony bar or if I wanted to change out my balcony bar then I could do that now if you're not really into the drinking scene or if you're not planning on entertaining on your balcony you could definitely use this as a plant stand to put more plants on you can even put a bird feeder up there you could do whatever you want but I absolutely love how it turned out and I got two chairs off of Facebook market Facebook market is your best friend for $25 total these chairs are from Ikea and I think they are regular like $35 per chair and there's nothing wrong with them at all and the white really brings out the colors on the balcony now that we basically have the entire balcony done the last thing that I did was install some string lights now to install my string lights, I use this moldable silicone glue called Sugru to create little hooks to put onto the concrete because my entire balcony is concrete and my landlord said that I cannot drill into this concrete, which is very understandable. I wouldn't even want to drill into the concrete. So I created little hooks to hook my lights onto, but if you're going to use these string lights that I use, you guys, you are going to need help. Especially if you're hanging them up on concrete like I did, you're definitely gonna need help. So I used two sets of string lights from Amazon. Everything will be linked down below, so do not worry. And it was so hard to hook them onto the Sugru by myself. The biggest tip that I have, if you're gonna follow this tutorial, is to make your hooks bigger. Don't separate the Sugru and make two hooks like I did. Use one entire pack for one hook and then it'll hold more weight. So when I was putting the light onto the Sugru hooks, it was just, it was just falling down because the lights were too freaking heavy. Uh -oh. I'm about to scream. Okay, so what I ended up doing was hot gluing my lights. Don't do that. I hot glued my lights to the Sugru hooks so they would not move. Now the reason I did this was because I didn't have any clips or clamps, but if you find like binder clips or little alligator clips that you can hide onto the lights, like if they're black, use those and just hook them to the Sugru clips. I highly recommend that. I think that's the easiest way. Command strips will not work. They will not attach to the concrete, so don't even try it. Don't waste your money on them expensive command strips. Now Sugru is also expensive, but it works. And after I hung up my string lights, you guys, I created this adorable little concrete side table. Super easy to do. I got the concrete from Home Depot and I got a dowel rod cut into three equal parts. Well, <laughs> it was supposed to be equal parts. And I mixed the concrete up, put it into a five gallon bucket and let it set for 24 to 48 hours pulled it out and I had a beautiful concrete table and I absolutely love it like my balcony is giving me like industrial slash tropical slash eclectic slash I live in LA and I'm bougie and this stuff is cute vibes I love how it came out I literally go out onto my balcony every morning and I water my plants I sit out there and I just enjoy the space If you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial on how I made my balcony bar or how I made my plant stand, definitely check out my TikTok, my Instagram. It's all linked down below. I have all of those for you. And the best thing is, it's only like a minute to watch me do the entire thing. My two favorite things on my balcony, well, 
everything is my favorite on my balcony. But my two favorite things are definitely my Bluetooth speaker. Well, my Bluetooth solar powered speaker that I got from Amazon and my super cute jute ottoman that I didn't mention for the entire video. Got that ottoman from Walmart. It's super cute and it's literally the most inexpensive one I could find. They have tons of them on Crate and Barrel, CB2, but they are so expensive. I even saw one in Hobby Lobby that was like $200. <laughs> you plan. I paid about $50 for the one that I have and it's a nice size. I sit on it all the time. It's very durable. Um, it's, the jute isn't super itchy. It doesn't irritate my skin. I sit on it with shorts all the time. Highly recommend it. And I love my Bluetooth speaker. It is super loud. And the best part is it's solar powered. And I did mention this, but my lights, my balcony string lights are also solar powered. I'm trying to do better for the environment. So I love how it came out. I hope you guys love it too. And I can not wait to film so much content on my balcony. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you give it this video a like and if you like what you see make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have a lot more Tyrus Tinkers videos coming for you and a lot more education to share on DIY projects even though we doing them together. You know what I'm saying? I'm in no way a pro. We are learning and doing together. But alright you guys I will see you guys in the next one. Sweet talk.